Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about some basic concepts in PowerPoint. Um, here I have opened up PowerPoint that I've made in the past. It's all about goal setting. Um, this might be using this as an example of, of how to do things, what PowerPoints can contain. Uh, this video will just be like a basic overview, how to get it started and what you can do with the PowerPoint. And then I'll make some other videos with some other content. Um, in this video, I've got pictures, um, videos, uh, this is a video, uh, this more pictures, text, lots of different colors, and this is, you can do a lot of different things with a PowerPoint. PowerPoint's a really quite a powerful tool. Uh, so to start a PowerPoint, uh, usually if it's installed on your computer, just go down here, type in power, then it opens up this. This is kind of your starting point, okay? Um, sometimes I start with a blank presentation, or you can use what's called a theme or a template. Um, and gives you lots of different options um, of what you're looking for. Uh, you can also look at these different areas depending on what kind of category you're looking for. There's lots and lots and lots and lots. If you go to Google and type in PowerPoint templates or PowerPoint slides, people have made some that can you can help for. Um, you can also just in the search bar you can type in like like you're doing a science science class, you know, they give you science or, um, I always have a hard time, sports, you know, they, they give, I mean, there's lots, there's lots of templates. So if you're looking for something specific, try searching it or just choose one of the ones here. Um, we'll just go ahead and use good old circuit. Okay. So this is what you first see when you start off one, um, up here at the top of your, your menu bar, lots of different tabs or ribbons that you can use to control or change your PowerPoint. Um, first is your home tab. This is where we can add new slides, lots of different title, different, lots of different types of slides depending on what kind of content you're trying to relay to your audience. Um, you can always change it later, but um, usually just whenever you're doing a new slide, you want to choose what kind of uh, content you're going to be sharing. Um, this is also where Intro to PowerPoint. Um, this is also you, where you can control or do some text editing. Uh, the size, color, um, bold, underline, central line. Uh, you definitely want your PowerPoint to look nice. You know, you don't, don't ever put your text too small. Don't put it too big. Um, lots of different things you can do in the home tab. Bullet points are usually a good idea. You can put in bullet points or disengage power. Um, uh, bullet points. If you want more information on the home tab, uh, watch my word home tab and I'll go over every single thing in here. But anyway, moving on to insert. This is where we can insert uh, lots of different things into our slideshow. Uh, pictures, go up, some, pull off something from your device. Um, pizza, yeah, pizza. You can never go wrong with pizza. So that's you put in pizza. So, um, you can put in shapes. Put in a smiley face. Uh, then once you put in something, then this additional thing pops up and that lets you change it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Just here's a new text box. If you want to put a text box just right here that says something, that's fine. Um, word art, kind of prettier text box. Um, this is where you put your videos. You put up something off your device. Uh, or online videos, but usually I try to download it onto my computer and then put it up. You can actually insert a screen recording. So I'm doing a screen recording right now, so if I wanted to screen record it. Uh, that's the main ones, it's usually pictures. You can also put a new slide here if you want. You'll have to always go back to your home page. There's also this new draw feature, which I haven't even really played with very much, but I guess you can just draw on your slides, which is nice. Um, design. Um, if you're always, if you're ever like, oh, do you know what? I don't really like this temp, this background template anymore. Um, you can always change it. It is hard to change it halfway through because you've already made some decisions based off that original one. But um, you can change it. You just might have to just make sure you go back through and look at all your slides. So, anyway, I think that's all I wanted to cover in this first little video. But anyway, just if file. You can always go to file. Is that you save it? If you ever want to open up a new one, you can go and choose a different template. If you just want to start over. Uh, that's how you get to a new one, and I think that's that's it. Thanks for watching.